Linux fans, we're here to show you today the wonders of No Machine Client and Server, also known as the NX Client and Server. I'm not sure why they call it that, but it's it's pretty cool. If you ever wanted to have a, sort of like a like a Windows Remote Desktop kind of feel, but for your Linux machine, where it's all securely tunneled, it's easily managed, easy to install, maintain, connect to, etc., without all the pains of VNC. Because with VNC, you gotta worry about different client matchups and versions and RFBs and all kinds of stuff that you don't really want to deal with. And it's not secure on top of it all. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install No Machine, which is uh, like a tunneled version of VNC with a very pleasing and easy to use uh, graphical interface and setup. So let's get to that. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be basing all the instructions today off of my buddy Randy's site, which is hacksores.org. Uh, he wrote a nice little write-up on how to do this on Debian. Uh, if you're not running Debian on your machine, then you could, you know, you could probably figure it out either from these steps or just kind of morph them into your own distribution. Or just Google it, I'm sure there'll be other install guides around. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we are, of course, going to uh, need to switch to our root directory. We're going to make a directory called FreeNX, and we're going to download all the files into that directory. Now, there's three files that are required to run the FreeNX server side. Uh, we have the, of course, the NX server itself, the NX node, which is some sort of intermediary. I think it's something to do with that. And we're also going to install the client for good measure. Now, these are all available from the No Machine site, which is nomachine.com, and they are all available in .deb files. And if you don't run Debian, you don't know the wonders of .deb files where you can just install them and they install all by themselves. Uh, if you're not running Debian, like I said, you'll probably find a guide. Uh, worst comes to worst, you can most likely build it from source, but I would definitely recommend, for dependency's sake, just trying to find a package for your distribution. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run that, and we'll come right back. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show this off a little bit and show you how powerful this uh, software collection really is. So here we see the No Machine NX clients running on my Windows machine. Uh, it's already been installed. Just download it from the No Machine site and uh, install it just like any other Windows program. It's fairly straightforward to configure, right? You just got your host name and the port that it runs on. You also got the type of system it is and uh, some basic settings pertaining to the type of graphical interface that's running on it and some bandwidth stuff. Choose your resolution. Usually the biggest is the easiest to work with. Uh, you're going to want to go with enable SSL traffic because uh, that will, you know, it gives you a nice added benefit of using this. Is it's like it's something that VNC doesn't have that this does. Uh, after that, you're going to just pump in your username and password. It's the same username and password that you use locally on the machine. So, like, if you log in with SSH on the machine with the username Ed, your username for No Machine will be Ed. Also, the same thing. This works because it tunnels all the traffic straight through the SSH uh, system. Uh, so once that's in there, you're just going to hit login, and it's going to go through its process to connect and resume your session. Uh, remember, it's secure, so it's going to take a little bit longer than a VNC session. It's not going to be instant, but it's usually not too long. Okay, so here we are up and running about 45 seconds after I hit the uh, connect button, and you can see that it's pretty snappy. It's, uh, in my opinion, faster than just using straight up VNC connection. Also what's nice about, nice about this is that when you hit close, instead of just terminating all the programs that you're running, you can either suspend or terminate it. So if I want to hit suspend, I can come back to the session at a later time. Uh, I've just scratched the surface of a couple of cool features about No Machine. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of other cool things. Go ahead and send. Well, I hope you found this basic walkthrough to nomachine.com a little educational. And uh, I hope you use it in all your future Linux remote administration endeavors. Uh, like I said before, it's secure, it's easy to use, etc., etc. It can be found at nomachine.com. If you have any problems, go ahead and email me. That's uh, will at techcentric.org. I'm in the IRC channel. That is, of course, pound techcentric on the irc.hack5.org network. Uh, you can AIM me at tcentric-will. And, uh, yeah, or call the BBX. Talk to you later.